Hey, what's up everyone? This is Mike Gross at youtube.com slash MG Free Guitar Lessons. That was one of my favorite bands of all time, Dream Theater. John Petrucci on guitars. That is the first song I heard from Dream Theater back in the early 90s or mid 90s, probably 93, 94, and maybe 92. But anyways, I've got to show that one. I picked that one, guys. No one requested that. And speaking of that, I do take requests, but I think we're filled up for the top 50 greatest riffs. Top 50 Greatest Guitar Riffs, which is the name of this series, and we're closing in. We're in the 40s somewhere here. They're in no order. They're just cool riffs that'll take you back to a time or just catchy as hell. So anyways, standard tuning. Dream Theater did a lot of different stuff with tuning. If you follow Dream Theater religiously like I do, you'll notice you know there's seven string guitars and there'll be different tunings and different drop tunings on it. This one, go standard on it. If he was playing a 7-string, he wasn't using the top one in any of this. Um, so let's jump into it. <clears throat> Dream Theater, pull me under, the intro. Um, what you want to do is uh, take your, I'm using my pinky, and I'm going fret 7 on the D string, like that. You can use your first finger if you want. And make sure your knuckle's up, because we're going to need the string underneath of it as well in a second. So play the low E, hit the D, and then the G. If you have a whammy bar on your guitar, have it nearby and just smooth vibrato, nothing, nothing swoopy and deep. You know, like a... Okay, that's why I use this guitar. For one, it was the tuning was set up for it. And I usually don't involve much of the effects and stuff that's going on, but I did throw some reverb on it. Down the road, we'll do some lessons where we focus on what effects the bands are using. So, all right, check it out. Back to this. Three notes ringing there. Don't don't stop them. When you hit that low E, let it keep ringing. Move over to fret four on the D now. Do the same thing. E, D, and G. So E, D, and G up here. Go to the fourth fret. Then go up to the fourth fret on the A string and go E, A, G. So we're just not playing the D string this time. See? Right there. Fourth fret, A string. Okay, and that sounds like this. Then we're going to take that, move it a half step back, or flat, to the third fret. Do the same thing with the strings. E, A, G. And at the end of each G there, um, you want to vibrato a little bit with the whammy bar. So we have. up to 5A, 7D. It's a power chord. You're going to go A, D, and hit the open B string. Alright, and I'm hitting it with an upstroke when I get to the B. And then you start that over. That's going to run through quite a few times. He does build off of it. The song has a lot of dynamics, starting down low, and it just climbs and climbs and climbs. So, let me show you what it does when it changes. Vibrato off of the. Not time to really do it in there. So, but when it, here's the change now. That was the regular one. So, I'm hitting the E and the B string at the end of it now. And I continue that on through. When I move over to fret four on the D, I'm just going to repeat that. Move up to 4th fret A. You already learned all this, we're just adding the open E and the open B to it. So you don't use it there, you use it on the 9th fret, or the, wait, the 7th fret, the 4th fret, D and the 4th fret A. And then you don't do the E and the B after that. So um, anyways, that wraps it up. I thought about showing you the distortion part. Um, I'll probably jam that out in a second for you, um, the part that it builds up into. Uh, if you're not subscribed, do it. Just do it. Go subscribe. You know where the button is. And I'll keep bringing you guys lessons. I'll take your requests. Um, I'll show you tons of things. We're going to cover many areas. We're going to hit every area that you can think of. 
with these music lessons. And I'm a professional. I've been doing it 20 years privately with my students. And this is something that, that's recent that I've started doing is the internet lessons. So uh, I, thanks for tuning in. I, I shout out to all my current subscribers. Appreciate you guys. You guys rock. Thanks for your kindness, your encouragement, your comments, everything. Now go listen to some Dream Theater. Do us all a favor. Go listen to Petrucci. Thank you.